We'll do a video of the fucking place for okay, you. Okay, everything connected up. So now we just okay. got to wait for Vinny okay. stuff to clear the buffer and, and see what if you're on the air. Uh, so if I make that middle step, that's what's stopping the thing from broadcasting properly. No, no, I, I, I don't know. I think, now, do you unplug your headset sometimes? No. It's the only one I have, so it's the only one I use. I just so you leave it in. in all the time. Shouldn't I? Don't what? yeah, I do. So I never. Oh, I shouldn't. I'm so I'm not sure what's changing your settings because something is changing your settings. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, this fucking and... Windows computer shit, man. I just didn't learn that uh, the Linux programming from you. So I get, I got felt bad about having you do it every week. And Cirque never make the time to learn it. She learned it. She would show me. Well, she, we can get you know, it set up with me. If you wanted to, but I mean, that's a crappy computer. Why use that one? Uh, the other one or this one? Okay. Everything connected up. So now okay. we just got to Well, which computer's crappy? Your Linux one, you said it was crappy. Well, it's it's old and it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of crappy. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Okay, um, it's working. So I'll okay, I'll hang up and go and live. Call Vinny. All right, and then and then we'll you'll be good to go. All right, have I got All my right? screen back? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, Scram. <laughs> wow. Uh, hello. Um. Oh, here we are. We're live. <laughs> Let me go. And I was in La La Land planning my next move. So now I'm going to try to get Vinny back. Um, let him know what's going on here. <laughs> me and, me and Vin, uh, Grimner were doing a little fixing. Apparently I had something that wasn't working correctly. So this is uh, In a Perfect World Take 2 on... <laughs> April the 30th, 2019. Hey, Vinny. Well, bless my soul. <laughs> the 420 report. <laughs> to kick off the show. <laughs> Did you lose your mind? What happened? We was, uh, we was rolling along, and we had to call Big Papa in for the rescue. Yeah. So this is as, as people do in the real world, Grim had to delegate authorita. <laughs> there you go, Vinny. Take two. Oh. Thanks, a, Big Papa. In a perfect world. Yeah. Hey, Grimner. I don't. We're we're stumped by my equipment. I need to probably upgrade. Oh, uh, I don't know. Get something different. Let's say that for you the can moment. Start you up a new array of uh, monikers and nicknames. Oh, I we'll don't call fuck around with all that. Flash. Um, Stumpy today. No, 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 that's your game. I, I don't. I'm not all about all that. People, people ain't gonna know who the fuck I am. So. Well, hey, yeah. well, let's tell them who we are. I'm still Vinny Cuss, uh, Vinny RLM Radio. I got seven more cussing ducks to capture over at the other <sighs> IRC place. That's my penance and my cuss jar, as uh, Grimner called that. I like that. Yeah, for uh, for cussing. I'm so cussing mad. By the time I get that jar full, I, I about this done forgot about what I was cussing about anyways. Uh, so welcome to LibertyMedia.com. That's Flash somebody over there. Say hello, Flash. Hello, Flash. Flash. Is, that's my friend way across the ways. And uh, we like to get together. Contrast the occupation here at Real Liberty Media, RLM Radio dot XYZ. Listen live or get bit. That's right. Bit oh. shoot. You can find me on uh -huh. stream over there. Big shout out to my friend, uh, Skater Dude Dave. Uh, I like that guy. Uh, I like people like him and Cherry Wilson. Uh, people that like to listen and uh, also hmm. give a ponder gander and consider perspectives of the uh, occupation. Well, that's when what you say it like that, how could they resist? Wow, uh, so lovely. Hey, you want to say hello to the bots and bodies, as you like to say? Bots and bodies in the uh, reallibertymedia.com chat. Our captives tonight include Barman, Beetle, Cowboy, Tech, Grimner, Moose Girl, Miss Kate, 
Brackets, DC, Asmo, Chalcedony, Graham Z, <laughs> Graham Z, she's probably at work, Abby, Don C, Java Doctor, underscore two, Meister Brow, Rain, Rob, Works, Trust No One, Vanna Wyatt, Weather Dork, The Phantom, and Will Then, Colfax 101, Cyborg Noodle, Me, Frumpy 2, Gromit, Huh? Java Doctor underscore J's Nines J's Kozu Carl Marx the bot <laughs> Ponder Gander A eh, Vinny Ponsa Sock Puppet Van Ma White Van Meter Vinicus and W4DKV who is really anti in disguise and that's the uh Available entertainment on the reallibertymedia.com chat today. Now, guys, I've got uh, incoming and uh, wow. also uh, reply. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to catch up that. And Mike Stickler, Life in Red States over at Twitter. I'll have to go over there and check his reply. And I'm going to open this and then just uh, stop it if it's a player. Uh, no, Jewish Virtual Library. Uh, the, uh, the Bundys are back in the news Uh Cliven was going to speak at a this uh, seed company thing there about uh, dry climate farming, and uh, got a lot of kickback on this here. And, and I, I got hey, it. would it be possible to get you to turn that fucking off before I no. go on no, strike? No, really. no, what? Because I don't know what button to push, buddy. I don't. Uh, well, just to let you know, for the record, that is the most annoying thing you've ever done you on radio welcome. so far. Not, hey, I I'm uh, like to say how glad I am to accommodate you. Well, how Thank can you. I interrupt you if you're going to interrupt yourself? That's quite the opposite. Anyway. I've got to, uh, I've got to finish Friday's broadcast. All this stuff. Mm. The Bundys, you know, they've been in the news since the beginning. But, uh, this is really kicking off again. Uh, anyways, hey, let's do some radio today. Uh, what do you think? What do you want to talk about? You'd like Everything. to talk about people and how no. they spell stupid incorrectly? I, I like to talk about important stuff. You know what I heard a rumor about last night on the Grim Leftovers program? What would you say? That Grim was going to have a special guest, and he's going to do an interview. And I thought, holy hell, who could that be? <laughs> there you go. The important things in my life. What do you think? I think I like it. Important things in life. What's this? What's the most important thing to you? Cirque, probably. Yeah, that's a good then, answer. Then the that Hannah. The I mean, if you're going to put him in a hierarchy, then Hannah and then the cat. And then the house after that. Then the garden. I like, yeah, you're good. You're doing good. It means that your that your tuning is vibrating properly. Well, I'm yeah, I'm getting I'm getting everything that I would want to get in life. My you know, my comfort levels are they're not exceptional and they're not below you know normal whatever that would be. They're not disappointing, so I'm comfortable. You know. You know what? Uh, I, I just love when things come together. When they come together in, in the right order at the right time. Uh, yesterday I went to town and I had to take some parts back in exchange for some other ones that I needed. And I had the ones exchanged that I didn't need it. So I go set them down on the counter with the receipt and I go and we'll ask the guy come help me. And we gather up everything I go, go set it on the counter. So he adds up everything that I brought back. And then he, uh, you know, takes the other price of everything I was getting and the uh, difference was I owed one penny. I laughed. I said, I just love it. Yeah. Perfect. What are the odds? Yeah. See, the odds for me of things that have what people would call coincidence are mm -hmm. so overwhelming. It just leads to me to believe that I'm vibrating along right. And then I get out of frequency sometimes and get cussing mad. Uh -huh. And, uh, Perhaps misunderstand or misconstrue. Cussing mad. What does that got to do with being right or wrong? Well, a lot of times you think you're right. Maybe you're not. I don't know. How does yelling and being 
verbally abusive assist your point? Well, sometimes uh, for me, I feel like I just need to uh, communicate in the language that's uh, the common vernacular that that language being used. Um, yeah. and, and sometimes one needs to restrain themselves. And I don't always use proper restraint, I guess. Hmm. Well, then I would be considered a tough negotiator, my friend. Hmm. Well, I'm not done much the- on... I'm listening to opposition in the first place. So I'm kind of looking for middle ground. You you can see that from our disagreements, right? I don't pound on the problem. I try to figure out what do we need to do to fix what fucked up. That's how I see what I'm doing. I'm, other people might have a different perspective on that. But being as you've had arguments with me and the opinions that we hold are still the freaking same. The opinions didn't change. But getting along, that's just a choice you make. There's a... I, I happen to click the right button to... Uh, you're reading while I'm pontificating about all this no, brilliant I'm adding shit. To what oh, you okay. just, I'm adding to what you just said. Okay. This is from Gabe McDowell over on Twitter. Uh, whoever told PR people to ask journalists to go dig up old stories and link to their company's website site, uh, stop. Jade said, stop. Ryan, I seen that because uh, Ryan Haas had liked it and uh, he responded on it. Uh, Ryan on Jay Haas, he's uh, he was with the uh, Bundyville uh, podcast and Leah Satilli. So I follow them guys. They really don't know how to take me. A lot of people don't. You know, the the Bundyistas or whatever they like to call them, the Patty's names, there's so many. Well, I laugh. I have fun with it. But the fact is, there is a right and wrong. And these people, it's so convoluted. They want to do right by the world. Don't you want to do right by the world? Me? Yeah. How, well, that depends on what, what exactly you're representing as right for the world to me because I disagree with a, a load of shit that's going on right now. Well, what if you changed the oil in your car and you had that oil? You said, well, I, I don't I'll have a car. Is that no. okay or is that not okay? No, I don't have a car. How can I well, answer I, that? Oh, you got you to gotta answer as in like uh, somebody. Hypothetically, I have a car. Whoa, I don't want to have a car. I'm gonna sell the fucking thing. So you wouldn't dump your uh, you wouldn't dump your oil out then on the ground if you did have one. No, then I'm just being a smart ass. But no, that's right. just common sense. You don't put that shit away. in the ground, right? But you I don't get, put you don't put that filthy oil in the ground. That's where it came from. <laughs> they took it out for a reason. It was making the plants sick. <laughs> <laughs> can't grow anything if you got an oil field hey i know what we'll do let's use it and burn it (laughs) genius i'm telling you (laughs) i'm done with my rant i was just being sarcastical about the oil burning monkeys that surround me they should make a hot sauce and name it sarcastical Well, you know, I got to admit, I still to this day, when I see a vintage car, somebody's driving around with their trinkets that they've collected over life, you know, and it's really pretty to see an old car well taken care of and all that. For that moment, I forget I hate oil. You know what I saw when I was in Spokane for about three months, summer 2017? You you saw an alien invasion. Uh... Yeah, actually, I did. Uh, <laughs> they even they even have signs up in the native language of the invaders, hmm. or are they invaders? Because they were actually up there in Washington before. Uh, oh, there was the British and the Russians. Yeah, that, so they got signs in Russian up there in Spokane hmm. a lot. It's uh, uh, I think very interesting. There's well, a kayak. It's, maybe it's seat. like. In Israel, and they're just occupying. They're not hurting anybody. Shut up. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's all good for him. I, this guy. He was coming off the uh, uh, the river there. Him and his wife had met him, and he'd been kayaking. And uh, so I just talked a little bit. We was talking English, but I knew from his uh, from his uh, uh, language or his accent, you know, Russian. 
Oh, how do you know? Oh, I could just tell the accent. Oh. So I see. Wait. Does, uh, not, and he takes a like a. Yeah, give me a minute here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell it. Well, I saw in Spokane. That's actually a long story. But anyway, he says he's leaving. He says, uh, I say, Das Vidanya. And he takes a couple of steps and his wife taps him on the arm. And he kind of pauses and stuff. He turns around. He goes, I'm impressed. <laughs> I can say goodbye in Russian. <laughs> uh, but what I did see in Spokane was a lot of vintage cars. Um, ex extraordinary amount of them. You back? Yeah. Yeah. I was letting it's the dog where, out. She wanted to go to the yard. Good girl, Hannah. So Spokane also is where Matt Shea, state representative of Washington, uh, has a uh, he, that's where he does his or her business, whatever it is. But he's in, involved in these uh, controversial emails of uh, surveilling the uh, the Antifa, uh, scalping people, and this and that, all involved. Oh, I I read a link earlier today that the president, or what is his position, the prime minister of France, the whatever the fuck of France, that uh, the saga shit that's running France right now. And he was talking about how Antifa is such a wonderful program for these young people. That kind of thing. Playing it up like it's a good thing. Uh, so, there you go. If you hear it from any form of government, they're bullshitting you. Don't buy it. If you uh, yeah, believe you, it, uh, it's on you in the end anyway. I'm leaving it up to you. Mark my words. That's the uh, title of my next broadcast is going to be Mark My Words. Well, it, I mean, this whole thing to me, Vince, is so ridiculous because like where you live, if so they make a law where you live, how the fuck does that affect me? Well, they made the same law where you're at. Yeah, well, where there's a front door, there's a back door. What's your point? What purpose in, in the reality of life? See, we're all so conned by this dog and pony show on TV and the internet. What purpose does law serve in you, fucking Vinny, in your daily life? You, you turn off your freaking, what you call it, that Twitter shit or whatever's blinking in. Dork. I can't turn it off. I don't know how to do it. It's not that. <laughs> it's annoying. Hey, That's four those times. Words, those are the best words. So you can just consider instead of me cussing. That's yeah. what I do. Well, I don't. I don't care about the cousin. That don't was, matter to that, me. Uh, that was a sheriff responding to uh, the uh, auto, the authorized auto, or authorized biographer of uh, Clive and Bundy. Oh. Um, hey, listen, y'all lift your lift your britches over there in the chat. I'm fixing to pound a big long. Uh, you would. Okay. You'll hear that after you're I already talking did. in there. code, Vinny. I don't know what the hell. Listen, that means. Hold on, now you're gonna flood you, and listen. tell me to oh, listen. Hold on, listen. Uh -oh. I gotta explain it. Uh oh. There it is, right there. You see it. This is what you're just talking RLM about. RLM chat. Blah, blah, blah. What? Okay, but we're talking on the radio. Why do you want me to read you, butt nugget? Stop. Please. You're killing Please. me here. You may do it. Your being in a perfect world is really inconvenient for me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. That's you're <laughs> that's perfecting my it. world. You. Fucker. I don't want anybody to be comfortable. Get off well, your. Uh, hey, I need that. Sound you know, there. I'll tell you. You know who's really good at that? Who? Cirque. She's good at what? Making people uncomfortable. I love that about her. And, and she does it with a smile on her face too. It's like, whoops. <laughs> How do you fight that? <laughs> and then usually she knows what she's talking about. I don't. I don't catch her in, in like made up shit. You know, she's got experience in a lot of crap. And flaunts it. <laughs> I want to be like that when I grow up. What do you think about history? I think history is a bunch of bullshit. It's hard to know, isn't it? No. It's hard to believe. Yeah, it's because I, of the fucking knowing it. Well, here, hey, we were. Maybe they just want to be in control of the way the story ends. Okay, but earlier, I believe there was some points being made about. Uh, the old Hitler thing, we all talk about Hitler, but what people don't usually talk about that they do on the real libertymedia.com chat is that Hitler had a Jewish banker financing him just like everybody else and no damn different. So 
What that means and broken down simple for the moron sh- to understand is the people they were killing, the people killing them were using their name as victims, but they were still killing them. Didn't It's, it's a word game. We're being had by the, both sides at the same time. So no matter where you are, you always have an enemy to hate. It's very simple. When you think of that there, Mr., you got all quiet. Yeah. <clears throat> you well, got that's it. my version of it anyway. Somebody. You got to hate somebody. Isn't that the yeah. way the song goes? No, you got to serve somebody. Bob oh. Dylan. Yeah. Well, who are, you, who are you serving when you hate? I don't know. I try not to do that. Depends on what you're feeling. It's like the wolf inside, the two wolves. Which one do you feed? Hmm. Well, I'm not a hateful person. I'm a little, like, rough on the outside and all that, and that kind of nasty with words. But I'm not a hateful guy. And I don't, very- carry, I don't carry it forever. I'll, I'll be mad at you, and then I'll tell you, hey, fuck off, and then we'll either fix it or we won't. But I'm not going to carry it around all the time and, you know, every day worry about it. That's stupid. We've got a life to live. Who's going to let Hannah out? You know, if I'm sitting in the corner of the house crying about something that happened in 1980, who's going to let the dog out to take a shit? The mailman? Maybe. Maybe. These are the important things that take place in my daily activity as a carbon-based life form on planet Oith. What do you think of that shit? You know what else I think? I'm going to tell you something. You ain't going to like this one fucking bit. You sitting down? No, but I can't. Let's sit down. You got a cigarette? And then sit down. Here, why don't you just punch the wall now, and then I'll tell you what it is. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> that's going to leave a mark. See, I just oh. sold you insurance, but oh. I didn't get paid. <laughs> Funny guy, Vincent. Why would well, you tell me to do that? Why I would you tell me to do that? Why would you listen to what I tell you? What are you? You're my what friend. am I, the authority? Oh, please. You know what? You know, I do everything I'm told and only a few things I'm told not to. <laughs> It's my story. I'm sticking to it. Well, if the if the truth be told, you do one of two things. Yeah. What What's you that? are allowed or what you're told to. Mm. And what is the truth anyway? Does it even fucking matter? I mean, think about it. I have a. I'm, I'm not even gonna pick on Hans. I'm gonna pick on my aunt in California. I don't even know if she's still alive now, but in her day. This is post-Trump when I had a few words, you know, listening to her talk to my mom. I didn't really speak to her anymore, but she was such a devout Democrat. Everything that was bad about Hillary, the Republicans are just making that up so we won't like Hillary. Now, if there's people that think that way about Hillary, then what about the other side of that coin? Mm Mm-hmm. Who would they be? <laughs> Never mind. I guess Never. I lost you in the translation. But that Never. what I'm getting at is that kind of indoctrination into a belief system about something that it it's just a bunch of bullshit talk. And the results that you're getting are beyond your understanding in the first place, like frequency and vibration. <laughs> Average Joe doesn't know these are the things being controlled. They're too busy talking about war in Venezuela to care about vibration where they're at. <laughs> you disagree there, mister, in a perfect world? <laughs> oh, I was buzzing over here vibrating. According to the books I've read, that's exactly what we're doing. It's so easy. It's so easy. And then they comp- they, they make it. More complex by bringing in outer space and other things in life. And we don't spend a lot of time understanding what makes us work, you know. What's best for us. And they kind of in all this shit like medical. So I know your brother and your sister, blah, blah, blah. Eh, there's more to this, Vincent. 
and I think that medicine is such a small part of how what we need to live. If we're just taught what to eat and what not to eat, and not poisoned by the government, you know, within legal limits, they can have that poison. It won't kill them for 30, 40 years. Fuck it. And look at the profits we'll make off them in the medical industry. This is what we live with every fucking day, everywhere. And people don't want to face that. They're building walls, Vincent, and going to war in Venezuela. It seems to be the thing to do these days. You live outside of it, somehow. Yeah, you're, I manage. You're one of the freer of all the RLMers. You know, you're one of the freer of the system, but still play the system, folks. There are. You're a dying breed, Vincenzo. Yeah, watch your step. You know, uh, I could be in prison. Going back to Spokane, my friend that I went out and uh, stayed with. He's my friend from Bundy Ranch, and. Uh, then I went and stayed uh, a few times with them in Vegas. Then I went and visited them on, on my uh, round the country trip and spent the uh, part of the summer up in uh, uh, Spokane. But he's in prison now. Uh, he was an angry person. And, um, you know, it, it seems like people that are angry, they've been uh, hit by the system somehow. And, and, you know, that sparks them on and fuels them in their, in their rage. And then they, direct the response in a wrong way well he ended up in prison because of that and i he wouldn't listen to me i, I told him man you're putting yourself in a very bad spot he's lucky he's not dead oh well, really so he's got about at least maybe almost three more years to go in prison because if he lives through it i can't imagine being the cannabis user that he was and then have to go to prison and not have it uh, and, oh, and you can get it in prison. What are you talking about? Yeah, but not like he smokes it. Oh, well, okay. So there's limits, but prison is just a word. You got money, you can beat anything. Well, money, there you go. Money he got well, or not. Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, well, sometimes in certain parts of life, money does come through. And in sometimes it won't. Prison's not outside of the places you can use money well it's a broader term too because bartering well bartering in a prison <laughs> trading <laughs> this and that and the other but cash you got books and i guess they haven't changed all that maybe since i've been in jail i got county time once um so but it, it's so informal and eh. <laughs> it's like a daycare center if you think about it well mike stickler said to uh Sky Reeve, the sheriff, he says, uh, uh, yes, Mr. Captain, obvious, he called him, uh, he says, I'm a convicted felon. I am, too. Uh, I did a uh, when, yeah. when I was 15. Bad I Vincent. Years later. Bad, uh, bad Vincent. Well, you know, I, I did wrong. Mm. Oh, no, what happened was you got caught. Let me tell you something about right or wrong. Right and wrong is up to the person looking on that given right or wrong. No, so, there's things are no, not. No, 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 no. Obvious. No, there's I obvious. disagree. And so I'll give I, you a, re I'll I'll give you a reason if you listen. Okay. All right. Because there are times when doing something horrible like that can work out for the poor schmo out in the real world. And I think it was Dillinger that proved it. This is a lot of why the people want, uh, not the people, but the Fed wanted him so badly. He was destroying, <laughs> he was destroying um, debts in the bank when he was robbing them, burning notes, burning dead mm -hmm. notes. That's cool. Okay, but he was fucking robbing the bank and murdering people. He was a loose cannon out in the world doing whatever he fucking pleased. That was but, right. See, depending on the person looking, he had a fucking fan club when he was doing it. This is the way they represent the past that I took it. This is how I see it. There were people that were on his side. Go on, go rob that fucking bank. Burn all those old fucking deeds and take as much money as you can carry. I'm behind you because that's the follower in the public. You're going to get equal shares of just about anything you do. 
According to the rules of super villainy, you have yeah. to continue the, the plunder hmm. to continue to build your image. Oh, okay. Well, I don't see how to do all that. Probably. It's so simple. But I think the freedom thing is it, some people don't recognize the word because they don't give a shit about you. That is not freedom. See? I think, Wait a minute, back up. Say that again. I think I didn't. Some people have it in their head, like Dillinger as an example. He didn't yeah. give a shit about anybody. That That's not the same as being free, in my opinion. Maybe your opinion, but I don't see that. I see it as another psycho with a gun. Not caring about anybody that, that's yeah, being... Yeah, at all. You, they're in your way. They're just in your way. Get rid of them. That's how people are with each other verbally do your own will is not it should not come before uh what you do harming the will of another the free will that uh, that they are not interfering with so yeah if you i mean doing a good thing burning the deeds from the robber barons the banks right that was good, going right. in there to do it, that was wrong see but you can't hold both opinions at the same time. It doesn't work right. that way. I can't. You got to choose one or the other. See, that's the duality to. game in the first place. You can't be neutral on shit. Nothing. Then you're yeah. out an outcast from society, too ignorant to make a decision. Let the I, Fed do I, it for you. <laughs> I prospire. That's the opposite <laughs> of conspire. <laughs> yeah, that's it, you crazy man. But see, I don't. I see freedom as a give and take kind of thing. It's not a selfish act to be free. I don't think. Somebody once said freedom's just another word for Yeah, I know Bobby McGee. Yeah, Chris Christopherson, good writer. But we all got our own version of that to some point. And you've taken it further than most people. I've taken it to places most people don't fuck with at all. <laughs> But there you go. I don't have peers out here in Denmark, if you will. Would it be wrong to kill ants? I don't know. Would it? Depending on what kind of ant you're killing. These daggum ants. They, oh, you know, if they, they're pests. They don't you. Lie. They're like sugar ants or something like that. I don't know. They're, well, they'll find something and they'll eat it up. Yeah. Which, uh, friend's mom, she uses, uh, she mixes powdered sugar and baking soda. Huh. And they eat it, and I guess they go off and die. Oh, so really? Uh, well, you do have the interwebs at your disposal f to find the answer to everything. I'm going to experiment with it. I'm going to do a science <clears throat> pro pro uh, process. Uh, somebody else's uh, aunt, I think it was, said that uh, she, she takes a five-pound bag of sugar and goes out away from the house and dumps it out there. And uh, they all go there and eat some sugar and stay out of the house. <laughs> wow. You you are a violent man, aren't you there, Mr. Vincenzo? Yeah, I say when it comes to ants, kill them all. No, not really. Oh. Actually, uh, what you see like the fire ant invasion down through the south, thankfully they're not here. Uh, man, those are terribly mean ants. Uh, and they, they decimate local populations, the native ants. And, They've even uh, hybridized with uh, advance and are, are able to migrate even farther north and tolerate more cold. So, yeah. Yeah, I've read a little over about Local. those things over the years myself. Weird. What a weird interest to have something like that catch your attention when you're scrolling through the interwebs. And then Rolling. you see some shit about these freaking fire ants that can eat a Buick. <laughs> They can disassemble a Buick and move it across state lines. Watch this. Then you know that the insect world is taken over. I hauled some uh, from a nursery down. It was on the Gulf side way down there in Florida. Um, I forget what town that was. Some, like, nursery pots. Oh. They had ants all in them, man. And I hauled yeah. them somewhere. I forgot. But, well. yeah. Cowboy Tech is posting a, a link about the federable, federable, I, the federal 
prohibition scheme on the table right now about milk, raw milk. Uh, another one, we've just been so fucking had over our life by these lying sacks of shit. <laughs> anyway, makes my tumor bleed, Vincent, when I dwell on it. Because daily life is not, a, I'm not suffering daily, you know, from the things that bother me. They'll catch me over a course of many years. And I think the knowing it is what irritates me. Not being able to, to change it is, wow, that's fucked up. I'm talking about like uh, smoking cigarettes. No, I'm talking about like the delivery system of the fucking electric that I use. <laughs> Yeah. Huh? 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 The fact that my body is a carbon-based life form. I I'm dependent on things around me to survive. And the things that I survive on and use are all poisoned and fucked with beyond my ability to to repair them. And I know it. Whoa, what a thing to know. I was kind of in a bitter off position when I was ignorant of the details, but then again, can't do anything about it, so why know it? What's the point of the knowledge? Talk about it. Get enough people talking about it, questioning things, and maybe one day you have that hunter's monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. What do you too. think you are? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Well, I can't be the only person that thinks about it. So th there's no collective to fight stuff. The governments everywhere have put a stop to that. Oh, man. Big city, you they control you. That's the way that's turned out. The state is your mama and your daddy. <laughs> and your Uncle Stanley. <laughs> Aunt Becky. <laughs> No? Isn't the state your family now? Well, some people seem to think so. I Let me tell you about a post I got up here on the Twitter sphere. Ooh. So, Clive and Bundy and the Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, and he was going to speak there. The, the facts and the truth will show that is they invited my father. This is what Ammon Bundy is saying. And, and uh, invited my father for his knowledge and experience in desert climate using very little water. And he wanted to share that knowledge. And for political reasons, they uninvited him. Mystic Warrior says, oh, Vin, you still can't see the B Bundy. Let's see if I can pronounce that. Bundy, Bundy idiots. It's one word. Bundy idiots. For what they are. Lying, thieving, ignorant, freeloaders. I'll have to mark this in the for my response to Mystic uh, Warrior. I say there's so much wrong with everything you say here. And they said... Uh, uh, at 1238 prove it okay the they are lying what are they lying about they said they've had rights to that land uh pre that uh, preceded these uh contractual agreements with the bureau of land management uh thieving what are they stealing uh you're you infer that uh, they're not paying uh, taxes somebody called them taxes oh that's a different thread we, we'll call them what they are what is charged is fees by the Bureau of Land Management from the Department of Interior. Um, Cliven says uh, some 20 odd years ago, um, I don't want to do business with you, any, with you anymore. You're managing me out of business. And he still owned the grazing rights property. He still owns the water rights property. So they've not uh, stolen anything. We call them ignorant freeloaders. They've gone about educating people. They're not, uh, they're not ignorant. They're not freeloaders. They're producers uh, for the consumption of people like you. So I can't, I can say more and more, but I mean, just your whole statement right there. Um, it, it's all uh, logical fallacy. So whoever asked the question, you know, there's the winner, as it said. Well, thank you. Seems that way, doesn't it? I think. So. Well, that's what I'm. I'm trying to tell you on the show is, I don't see a lot of opposition, you know, to the lie that the government feeds us. 
I hear more and more of, oh, <laughs> but you're breaking the law, contract this, but more mumbo fucking bumbo jumbo and very little truth and reality. So hmm, being this far away from all that is such a relief. I was teasing the RLM chat. They were kind of complaining about the government earlier, and I told them, you guys are making me homesick. And they laughed because they, they know that. That's not true. But I come from the place that was once the envy of the world. And it was. It was a fucking great place to live. And now it's a shithole. I, I can't. Like there's here. nothing. And well then, there's nothing I can do for you. But I can do lots of shit for me. If you're not happy, it's your own fault. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. If you're miserable about what's going on, that's you that's miserable. And I don't think you can make other people miserable. You can be around them and they can probably not like you, but how can you make somebody happy miserable? Okay. I was asking I you a direct I, I question. I was thinking about it. I was thinking did, about it. Did, did you get your okay. measles shot and you're all fucked up now or what? I don't I had shots when I was a kid. Well, yeah, but not now. Yeah, but back then when we were kids, they weren't putting the poison shit that they're using now in it. And oh, things have changed, I, Vince. I did take a flu shot once. It didn't help. I jumped off the roof and hit straight to the ground. Whoa. Ah. Oh, you're <laughs> funny. He can't fly. He got a flu shot and he can't fly. <laughs> but about, okay low and steady oh that's uh yes it's i'm still trying to rewrite um the uh tortoise and the hare story and i can't quite work it all together yet but that is part of the uh, mark my words uh, is the, Re uh, story. okay you're gonna rewrite a popular story Yes, it's it's done often. I hope I save what, that link. Okay, what is the actual sure. point of that? Don't you have an imagination? Can't you just make something up, you big dummy? Yeah, but I want to tell the story in a way that can be told. And oh, have... you're a plagiarist. I'm the paraphrase plagiarist, buddy. Oh, you know that. That's right. Well, I don't think anybody's all that fucking original. It's just a matter of how you look at it. But That includes me, because I use ideas that i see outside of my head i'm looking out <laughs> not looking inside to write when i write what am <clears throat> i doing Miguel? Ah, ah. says i'm doing something what and he is too hmm. i ain't doing nothing well i don't know what that means but and well then who he's talking to so i'm gonna pass well i missed part of it uh, look at the last two lines on the Real Liberty Media chat and read the first one. <laughs> it I don't know if, who he's talking to, but... I don't either. I I'm lost. Guess, yeah, well, I see my name come up somewhere else about do something when I've made it fucking clear over the years I've been doing this that the only person I can help is me. You, well, you gotta do your... You take care of your fucking self in life, man. Nobody does nothing for you. That's all a matter of how you fucking look at it. Because uh, the lifestyle that I live, the where I'm at, I'm the glue that keeps whatever that is together. Do you so, like to sing? No. Really? No. I, I like to complain. I'm Jewish. We're going to make an all-Jewish band oh, called the Whiners. Oh, yeah. You're going to get a ticket for impersonating a Jew. Did you ever see that link I posted of the two Jewish guys singing Pink Floyd on the street? No, I don't think I have, actually. You got I'll, it? I'll, yeah, I'll get it off of YouTube and post it. But, yeah, two, two Jewish guys with the accents and the whole thing, but doing the Pink Floyd. <laughs> it was great. I'll go get a copy of it. But, uh, yeah, see, my people are just the people, okay, are just people. The crap you represent, if, if that's what you want other people to see you as, instead of just people, then you're going too far. 
That's how I see it. You, on the other hand, might see it differently. Uh, no? How do you see <laughs> it? Uh, it's hard to You're read not into listening, each. are you? Yes. Uh, you, you're reading shit. You mother... I, okay. I can only read two lines at a time, though, buddy, so... Yeah, but you're still reading what, when I'm pontificating about my great knowledge. But anyway, yeah, yeah here we go. I found it's the like, link. It's like Trump and Hillary uh, mm. stuff in the feed. I just like, I see Trump. And I just go to the next post. Uh -oh. What happened? Okay. Me, I What'd couldn't pause it. Hold on. Pop. I gotta oh, kill my mute here. Ay, man, what a mess. Ay, 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 ay. I opened a link, I couldn't... There we go. Yeah, no, I was doing a Vinny. How do you like it? Was it everything you thought it would be? Ay, 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 ay. No, ask Grim, I just got you back today, like, two or three times for horrible crap you've done on the radio. But here, for your listening and visual amusement, Jewish men singing Pink Floyd's Wish... You were here. <laughs> and I hit it. And, <laughs> see, it's so easy to do. <laughs> Button pushing. Me and Mary got this. 476,519 views with 63K up and 2.3 down. Yeah. Mm. Well, people ain't going to like it, sure. But I'm it, show. it just goes to prove my point that, yeah. Deep down inside of us, we're just us. But outside of us, other people got to see you and put you in a group and a category and judge you so they know what you are. <laughs> well, some people call it Cohen, the herd. Some people just go by the color of your skin, period. Some people go by the way you dress. Some people you look go a by. Pale. Be a huh? real G. No, I don't, I don't think there's any of that left. I think whatever that Jew thing is was wiped out and taken over and the name's been used to do all this other shit that we're going through. Well, they're not wiped out. The descendants of people, you know, expand throughout different regions and parts of the world. Look, all that matters. Look at my genetics. They go, I mean, how far can you trace back? Mine back to the 1500s. Maybe so, you but... In, you see, by my physique, the, at my ancestry... Uh, a lot of Irish, so yeah. I'm not no, Harry Eight. I were like uh, from where the big Harry Eight people come from. <laughs> where do they come from, anyways? I don't know. Uh, I'm probably you ask your mom. Black person, know. black person. Yeah. As far as not my color, but my yeah, yeah. Uh. I'm smooth. That's a Vinny Suave. Oh yeah, like Pinky. I remember that <laughs> when he became a painter. Anyway, I was going off on something and you walked all over me. Now I've, I'm stoned well, now. Not yeah, a problem. I'm Anything I'm, I can do to help, Mr. I'm Rodney. higher than a giraffe's balls <laughs> right now. So lost my train of thought. Now I fight with Vinny about the who owns the color blue. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Are you going to get a royalty check every time I look at the sky? No. I'm no. Gonna, I've given that out yeah, to, for free to everybody. Fair yeah, use. But that's how fucked up of a world we are. Is Now there's intellectual property. Yeah. I mean, I, I what? tell you that you owe them for the color blue, you send it to me, and I straighten them out. Well, you've, you've heard me over the years preach my three-step plan to unfuck the world but nobody will do it i'm disappointed I do. circle do it you'll do I it do. grim does it oh who else do i i you know people where i interact with on different mary oh graham z there's a lot of upstanding people in the electronic world i like coffee yeah but do you like your neighbors um, you know, actually, um, some I do and some I don't. The one across from me over there, we've not, uh, we've not had words in several years. The guy mm -hmm. down the road, um, I never did like him. Mm -hmm. And I think our last words were something about, I told him, 
I, the other guy that lived before him doesn't live there now, but I didn't like him either. But did uh, you know there's a pill for out, your uh, anger the issues? Guy, the guy shot his pigs, the other guy that I don't like. I there's was like, a I, how bad a, I don't like him, I wouldn't shoot his pigs. But there's Why a you? pill that'll cure you, Vinny. Take oh, it. Take four. You're, eight, oh, you're angry. Oh, you. You're so eight, angry, eight, my eight, friend. Oh, negative. Eight, Stop it. I'm going to do my will. But see, you live in all that negativity, and now you're just a big ball of negativity. Listen, listen, listen this is all this over the airwaves. Huh? The peace, well, how you choose to interact. So I choose yeah. not to interact with those folks. And when I happen to have to, <laughs> I don't pull any punches. <laughs> I and see the same in the guy. Window. He wants every time he drives by, yeah. look up my driveway. Mm. So I like to run around in my drawers, and when it gets real hot, I'm liable to be buck naked out there. Yeah, Not take the kid. mic for two minutes. I'll be right, right back. So you know you've got a choice in how you interact with people. When it's a proper response, and when you shake it at them. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is a this is a community out here. It's uh, got roots back into the eighteen fifties, and uh, I'm friends with uh, some of the descendants and others I'm not, and other people that come in later. And um, it's funny how a life gets along. Um, they say good fences make good neighbors, and they're all not, always not a physical barrier. Uh, sometimes it's a space a barrier proper distance and uh, lack of uh, interaction can i get them can i get them here ducky 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 got them i got that duck i got 37 ducks killed as vinicus and i've got 93 uh captured captured kissing ducks all right so i won't be vinicus by friday uh, and I got stuff to do Friday, too, so I'm almost yeah. uh, wondering if I will be here or not mm. Friday. So I got everything lined up. Oh, you're I going out of town? I you was gone, mister. That's cool. right. You, where are you yeah. going? Uh, to town. Oh, that could be anywhere. I'm going to have you? to, of course. Are you returning from this going to town thing? Yes, I will. Oh. Yeah, I look kind of silly sitting around saying, giddy up, horsey, go to town. And I ain't got no horse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, and your horse, neighbors might horse. laugh at you. <laughs> and a horse, of course. Uh, I don't thousand. know, but when if you, after the show, watch that damn video I posted about the Jews singing Pink Floyd. <laughs> No, no. They actually, they except for the vocals, they did a really good job, but the, they couldn't do the voice. Want a but taco. They, could play the, they could play the material fairly well. It wasn't bad. He's, he's racing. He's got eight more, too. 5,000 to capture. Oh, you're talking about all this duck shit. I don't play the duck shit. Uh, that's because mm. ducks are very uh, messy. Yeah. Are they? General policy on the duck problem federal is to, wow. when did you, wait sorry. a minute when did but, you go all statist and start federal policying me i like ducks don't you fuck with my ducks tell you that man you bring me to violence if we were downtown and you got violent with one of the ducks i'd have to physically accost you sir well i'm okay with them being ducks but when they do yeah. unduck things then i'm gonna uh, like what? I mean, if they're in the water and they're doing what ducks do in duck water. Ripe chicken. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. I'm not trying again. to prove here, but it really <laughs> happens. Ducks have well, no conscience. Yeah, but people do, right? Some of theirs are broken. It's unfortunate. No. So, wait, wait, wait. So, a human conscience is superior to a chicken or a duck yeah. conscience yeah. or the lack of. Much right. more cognition, absolutely. So if you're a human and you rape another human, at least you're not a chicken fucker. <laughs> Is one's that bad, what you're saying, Vinny? <laughs> one's a bad enough. I may not be able to decipher this one. And I got a wife being all loud with the dog right now. Tell her to talk about ducks. She knows about the duck problem. I, uh, tell her? Oh, Eve, here we go with all that stuff that me and Cirque don't 
get to do that very often. Ask her then. No, I could ask uh, anything I want, but telling her, no. Ask her, I always man. shy away from that. Because you know why, right? Because I figure whatever I do to you, you're going to want to do back to me. <laughs> so if I do it first, you know, that opens up a lot of possibilities. You know, Control is my game. <laughs> I was being funny. You know, we, just because we have, you can we have ways of making you do things. Well, my, just because I can read a rule doesn't mean I'm gonna obey it. It just meant I read it. Okay, so now I read your fucking rule. Whoop whoop. What's my rule? That's not the issue. The issue is I read it, and I'm either gonna do it or I'm not. And reading your rule has nothing to do with me doing it or not. It's just I have one rule, sir, that you it, read my rule. <laughs> well, guess what I'm not going to do? <laughs> I see what you do with it. I'm not reading your fucking let, let, rule. Let's play along for a minute. What, yeah, what I'm playing. Yeah. And then you're like, why? Mm. I don't know what yeah. it is. Rule? What does the rule say? I don't rule. know. Well, what, what if you did read it? What would you make of it? What? I don't read know. But what is, see, you haven't hit my my exciting bone here. You're yeah. boring me with the word rule. Let Don't me poke like the word. a little bit deeper for you, investor. Yeah. Well, yeah, like a muffin. What are, the, what are the features and benefits of your fucking rule? What am I going to get out of your rule? And I want to get what I want first before you get what you want out of your rule. Now what do we got? You want to be like me? Negotiate. No, I'll pass. Thank you very much. I like being me. Good Would enough. you go out on a limb? Am I your hero? No. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Vince, but no. What? No, 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 no. Ah, come on. No. No. Any, any no, no sort of. You don't get hero status in my reality until you're dead. When you're dead, maybe I'll consider you. But until that, no. I'll you're be just a... Vincent Van Gogh, in other words. <laughs> yeah, like, but see, I would consider a hero somebody like Tesla. You know, um, then I see a lot of histor historical personalities in a very bad light because of what I've read about Tesla. And then he shows you the truth about these other fuckers, and you go, wow, <laughs> oh, man. And we're burning oil like a bunch of monkeys. This is sad. It is very, very sad how we live compared to how we would live if they would have never made hemp and cannabis illegal. Changed everything. I'm going to make noise with the coffee grinder. Close the door. My We're... wife is commenting to me from the kitchen. I had to talk to her. On the... Forgot to unmute. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hi, Circle. Yeah, she's in there making coffee. So Say hi, she, circle. Yeah. Then you say hey, hi. circles. Hello. Vinny, say hi. Vinny said uh, hello. Yeah, we heard that like four times. But uh, she can't hear you. Hey. No, she can't hear. She's got the. She's in the kitchen with the door closed. You bonehead. Louder, silly boy. Yeah, louder. I'm gonna louder you right outside the head with a big stick. I like like a head. tree hey, log. My head <laughs> louder. What? Am I louder? Hello? Are you louder? Oh, you're always louder. You are the you are the king of. I'm loud. talking about the microphone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, you weirdo. I, I, I actually put the mic inside my mouth. <laughs> you <laughs> disgusting <laughs> fuck! <laughs> wow. Ooh. Vinny, Vinny Ooh. goes completely <laughs> off on the reallibertymedia.com <laughs> chat and and. In a perfect world. <laughs> you heard it here first, and it's not even 20 after. Just wait. <laughs> He's going to really melt down for you tonight. Yeah, I was oh, kind of teasing Grim. That is Grim. a good idea, actually. What is? What did you <coughs> say? Uh, Pre-cough. Uh, yeah, I'll, I will do that while taking a toke. Ah, a oh, somebody's giving you advice it. on the screen, I see. Hmm. Some get me something. What? I don't know. Advice. Advice is free. Oh, there is a uh, Edney Lane 
Brown. You know they're in prison. Yeah, but prison is a for profit business in America now, so don't don't get arrested. It ain't got nothing to do with legal. It's about profit. You know, at least if they were in prison, what would be wrong with allowing them to be in prison together? Why even separate them? I don't know. Why? I don't. So they don't allow separation of of mm. uh, what they call race. It's not a real word unless you're really, really mm. fat. Mm. Uh, are we going to go all technical on the status law tonight? 2042. They're old. Mm. Oh, man, I'm older than that, you big baby. Jason uh, Gerhardt has, uh, he has a chance, it looks like, for 2025. Oh, 2025 what? What does that really? mean? Uh, the selections. Oh, you know, I figured out how to cure America of oh. all its problems. Just run um, Trump with... Uh, What's his name? The other idiot. Oh, I lost his freaking name. Bill, um, no. Joe Biden. <laughs> Complete blank. I was couldn't think of creepy Joe. <laughs> but instead of this Pence idiot, shoot him. Get the Jesuit the fuck out. And replace him instead of with Pelosi. Replace him. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't like my, with creepy Joe. Biden. He's creeps me out, man. I don't. Me too. Think I yeah. Think I get behind him. Have He'd you be seen like, the T-shirts of he, he's behind you with his hand? Or there's a pair of hands on your boobs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd be. Oh. You know, he's like a oh proctologist, God. and you go and uh, he's got both hands on your shoulders. Okay, uh, now, now, wait, now. This is my vision, Vince. Now oh. stand him right next to Trump, and he makes Trump look better. Pence, not so much. Pence is kind of like more serious looking than to me. Psycho than, than killer Trump. looking dude. Pence. Yeah. Pence? Yeah, he looks, Jes- like, he, he looks like a Jesuit. Yeah, he's got plans for you, brother. <laughs> more Just afraid of him. Like, like uh, George, George Herbert Walker Booth. Everybody uh, thought he was a wimp. Do, do you think that the government's doing killer. goofy, weird shit with its people? Then they lie to us about it. <laughs> nah, they just arrest you and put you in prison and then trade the freaking stock on the New York Stock Exchange to make money off your misery. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, I want to return to a place like that. What are you, crazy? <laughs> I can't understand why nobody else is leaving it. Ooh, that brought a silence to the In a Perfect World program tonight from my yeah, friend Vincent. Yeah, kind of bummed <laughs> out about Ed and Elaine Brown. I heard that coming, and it, that prompted me to praise my own timely escape from the jaws of Gubermint. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. A fluke, man. Life just did what it did. But it is one way, and then it, if you hear a story or you hear me talk about it, it's got to sound another way than how it really was. You know, stories are way more exciting than the truth. You want the truth? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, here we go, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm chewing the hmm? cannabis. Man. Well, Fiber. see, truth is all relevant to the personal person looking on it. There there can't be a one size fits all for pleasure. It's gotta be a, a one size is. This is just the way it is. Deal with it. But they don't. They manipulate everything and they make it bad. So we have something to fight against. It's it's a nightmare. We could do much better than this, but we're a bunch of lying sacks of shit. Don't even know it, but that's the way it works, you know. I could quote Einstein and all his great theories and all that bullshit. Do it. Some, no, the point I'm trying to make is some people would be impressed hearing the greatest, uh, the greatest hits of uh, Albert Einstein, and others like me think, nah, what a bunch of shit. It fits a story to tell it to sell insurance in Coca Cola. Sounds like a good plan. Worked. 
worked on me, worked on you. We, we're all here. We're all doing it. There's, it's so controlled. I mean, the things that you can get off the black market, they're not life sustaining things. Well, hemp maybe is, but cannabis is, but well, you can get them now more readily than 50 years ago, it's, which is uh, my point. It is now 420 somewhere. Stand by. Thank you. Here we go. Wait a minute. You ready? Hey, don't blast off on the program, Vince. Oh, man, he blasted off right in my ear. It, it is 420 somewhere. Uh, thank you, Vincent. We, we could have done without all the volume, though. Can't you adjust your volume when you no get charge. obnoxious? No charge. At least when I get obnoxious, I mute. Or I try to mute. Sometimes no, I miss. Don't, don't lie. Go back to rule one. Am I lying? Oh, well, I'm not lying. I'm not. Because my abuse and obnoxiousness is click. on you. You're the one who sees it that way, not me. I'm doing it, you moron. I've already got I'm not point. Hansel, for fuck's sake, going out of my way to be seen as obnoxious and stupid. But, I mean, if that's the way people see me, that's their business. That's up to them. But some people go out of their way to get that result from you first that foremost that's what they want brag about it i know i know a couple of people like that <sighs> i know so do i and it makes my tumor bleed you iggy and un iggy only uh only hansel anybody else i've iggied i don't bother to ever un iggy them again and i think i got two two people i don't read three no three and then there's and then along came hands and hands is yeah. so entertaining that sometimes i just need a break from it <laughs> you know it's like walking barefoot through a, a yard that's got a dog in it <laughs> you might step in a pile but hell you're barefoot you you can wash your feet you won't kill you it might just be kind of nasty for a minute and that's how i see him so some days i ignore him and some days i don't it's like a game, like a video game. <laughs> hey, ignore the Hansel. <laughs> he he drives a, another guy on the site yep. a little upset. Mr. Rob Works doesn't seem to care for Hansel either, but Hansel likes to pick on me better. And you know why? Why? Because I'm the only one that can make him run out of the room yelling he's going to go to What's that place? Starbucks and make people cry. <laughs> Pass on my good work. Because <laughs> that's probably what he does when he reads the shit I post because it sends him into another dimension. <laughs> Calls me a liar. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. Liar. We couldn't, if we didn't get that out of somebody, we'd, we'd be full of shit too. That's how you know you're not. Is attracting that mentality to you as an enemy is proof you're right. <laughs> it's just it's so obvious. Hi, you want to hear the, uh, from Cowboy Tech, redneck pickup lines. You got 10 of them. Pretty funny. Did Go you fart? It. Did you fart? Did you just blew me away? <laughs> <laughs> My love for you is like diarrhea. I can't hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> Hey baby, I got a six pack of beer and a new C, uh, new Hank Junior CD. <laughs> I, I yeah. want to change the, the the line, the end line on this number four. Goes up, baby, you're finer than frog hair. This said said a new uh, snow tires, but uh, you're prettier than a pickup. No, you're prettier <laughs> than a truck pulling up in the driveway. Are oh, your parents retarded? Cause you sure are special. <laughs> I like that when you're special, girl. <laughs> you're not the best looking girl here, but beauty's only a, a light switch away. <laughs> what? Your eyes are, uh oh, here we go. Uh, free use of the word blue. Your eyes are as blue as window cleaner. You say window, not window. You say winder, winder cleaner. Hey, baby, nice tooth. <laughs> Well, come over to my trailer, drink some beer, and see my new Velvet Elvis painting. <laughs> Funny stuff. Thanks, CP. 
you're a you're a credit to your race, Vincent. I run really, really fast. Well, I I think my wife would recognize you as a what she calls mutt blood. I'm a yeah, because she's a she's a Danish racist. I know. So she likes to tease us poor Americans and such. <laughs> she's she's Danish, all right. <laughs> I would describe myself as an American. Uh, I'm pretty happy most of the time, and I'm pretty positive thinking I can mostly. And yeah. I am well, American, and that is a redneck hillbilly southern fried slice of country. Yeah, but, all right. but are you still stewing in the juices of the pink-haired girl? Huh? What? Are you still stewing in the juices of the pink-haired girl? <laughs> the one that got pulled over and you oh, got all pissed yeah, we off went about the, the other day, Saturday. Uh, uh, so Vinny's making the big moves through all kinds of procedures. Oh, uh, <laughs> clever! Oh, they're cool yeah. folks, man. They're old. Uh, they're young tramps. They are. Uh, they just bought property. They no, been, I was kidding with you, but I thought yeah, the boy was were, gone. They, wait, wait, wait! All themselves. Would, they yeah. called themselves. They called themselves what would be uh, some people would describe as homeless. For I mean, oh, all the life that they were yeah, 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 tramps, hopping trains, and that sort of thing. So now they've brought them a bought them a piece of land out here, about two and a half acres, and yeah, yeah, paid cash for it. Yeah, know. but you said the the male the boy was gone when you yeah, brought all this up. You never reported yeah. a fucking ending to it. Well, well, it happened in so the it's in news to me. I'm in Denmark, man. I'm I'm ahead of you, but I get the news last. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> you already lived it before I hear about it, no matter what. So what? How can I be seven hours ahead of you? They got Somebody's the same lion, self same spirit of the mountain here. They're welcome. You you want to hear a good joke? Yeah. The the French want Notre Dame replaced exactly as it was and that can't be done in for one simple reason just to destroy. yeah there you go so they can they can do There's a replicate of some cast, kind cast, cast. shut cast. up with your freaking Vinny bells you weird, weirdo anyway but they can they can reproduce the building but they can't use the materials and the crafts that came from that time period so it's never going to be what it was. Poor people. They're the dreaming. Well, yeah, but we've been in introduced into this new world where everything's instant. and People forgot about the old way. Hand carving shit and, you know, measuring it within, you know, it's the minimum and being as perfect as possible. Those things are replaced with computers and lasers it's not the same. Well, do what you can. Well, I don't know. We're in this world full of people that are looking forward to sex bots. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Sad and sick. <sighs> I don't know. I'm not a fan of all that. I Yeah, well, then again, look at the... We're not capable of being that age in this lifetime with all the shit that's going on in it. So we're looking at it like our folks looked at us, you know, different experience, different mentality. Because there's a lot of people that think people are the problem, not what fuels us is the problem, but it's the people. It reflects the, the mind of man. To right, but all the problems are all based on what we eat. Some and, object that, and remove any uh, autonomy. Right. Well, how did they do it? They poison us like from that. the day yeah. we're born. So they poison. poison your mom while she's carrying you. Yeah. And then that when you get here, <laughs> guess what? We're going to attack your body with all kinds of shit. And I've mentioned before, Bill Clinton gave a nice apology for experimenting on the public without their consent or knowledge. People don't give a shit. They don't care any more about the apology than they do for what the apology is for. Ask them. 
I'm not talking to you or about the the bulk of the crowd at the Real Liberty Media and possibly most of the people that listen to the show. I'm talking about the majority of people out there that are clueless to what is real. They don't even know they that they don't know. And <laughs> they don't even care. And you know they're out there. What about the people that thought you was crazy? Didn't hear you. How do you mean people that thought uh, I was crazy? I don't know what the fuck that means. No, that comes back to they those that thought you crazy that when you danced it didn't hear the music. Oh, ha, ha. Well, you know, all I got to do is just doubt that we're on a round globe. Don't even have to mean it. All I have to do is speak that sentence. Maybe not. Maybe we're being fucking lied to. And that just puts me on a completely opposite of whoever believes what they believe. And both sides, it depends on your, like, indoctrination and your education and who you grew up with, what you're going to lean to in the first place. Well, I see this topic. It is exciting you to no end. Yeah, I'm thinking. What are you I'm, reading about, Vinny? I'm not. I'm looking out into the woods and thinking about what you're saying. What well, really does you know, make people believe the way they believe? You know? well, what, what does that? What is the catalyst? What's the thing you, that starts me off to believe whatever it is? You know, so, hmm. And I try to limit that activity to as minimal you know as few things as i have to waste my time dissecting that like that then it may, gives me more time to not be upset about the bad shit i know <laughs> let, let me ask you a question would you piss in the stream with somebody drinking downstream no 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 that big is wrong that was a yes or no answer in my life. You do it to me, I'm attacking you. Are you kidding? I get pissed off when people spit on their fucking street. I give them the stink eye when they catch, can catch them. They usually do it after they pass. Hey. But that's a nasty fucking thing. To me, not maybe to you, not maybe the guy that might have a cold and is getting rid of some phlegm. But some people you should, spit on the floor should, and... Uh, uh, you know, in their regular going about life, wipe their butt and throw the toilet paper on the floor. Okay. That's not my style. But uh, let's see. We all have what we call acceptable, I guess is the right word. I got and you, you uh, Donna, at uh, one of my accounts. I have to go check my other YouTube accounts to make sure we're up there. Also, I'll switch uh, that out right now. I'll go to uh, Real Every Media and sign in there. Make sure we got you. What? what is USMS? What's that? We got 364 subscribers on the Real Liberty Media. Yeah, but what is USMS? I don't know what that even means. Do you? No. I'll go look. Oh. Hold okay. on. I was okay. She's button. talking to you, I guess, yeah. suppose. But Point I'm reading it, and it bamboozled my little mind. Oh, the U.S. Marshals. Okay. That must be the United States Marshal Service. Okay, got it straight. And I was uh, reading backwards. Refers to what they're called the the standoff with the. Uh, uh, yeah, brand. there's a new yeah this yeah, new latest in there. It'd been like uh, if I would have gotten charged for being at the Bundy Ranch standoff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There, what would be like to stand in the gap to make sure and stand as witness and to make sure yeah. that uh, if. If there was wrongdoings, that it would be recorded, and uh, somebody would be there to say, uh, yeah. "No, not because you say so." And <laughs> yeah. So, how how come this is a big hoopla then? Why did the Fed want them? Because they were they said uh, they went to court. They oh, were charged go. not paying income tax, and they said, "Show me the law that says I have to pay income tax." Oh. And Big, big mistake. Then it went from there, yeah, on to uh, charges, and then they came to uh, arrest them, and uh, they said, "No, not just because you say so." Yeah, but that's what it really is: is taking your shit from you at the force of a fucking gun barrel. So if you comply with all that, then you're safe and whatever. 
doesn't mean that you agree with it, but there's some people that comply and claim that they agree with the premise too. I think they're all nuts. Certainly. Yeah, there's no, huh, in the chat, there's uh, there's no justice system. Oh, fuck no. There's a, it's a business, it's commerce. <laughs> Government's not even government. It's just businesses running around pretending to be countries. And, and they're in, they're getting into our, what everything. They started with water, and now they're in uh, inoculations, and food yeah. sources, fucking well, with us in ways that we can't do anything about except not buy the shit they sell. So there you go. Water, buy local. Water. Everywhere water, and Nara yeah. drop your drink unless you're buying it from Nestle. Probably. I wouldn't doubt that. And that's how greedy that human beings think it's cool to be like that too it's a bunch of stupid shit i want to be a billionaire so i can have a fuck wow i just find it hard to believe that every minute of life is all about what i want <laughs> but if that's the way i wanted it i could make it that way but i'm not that selfish try harder I don't want to. I'm underachieving in the being a greedy, greasy, sleazy, dirty prick thing. Taken out of that, you know. Been out of it for a long time. Hey, my uh, tire garden sprouting. <gasps> elixir from the circle. The circle yeah. brought the elixir. Hey, I like to brag. When I get elixir when I'm doing radio, I always feel special. special. You're special. Well, uh, your, your parents got start medical science. You're special. <laughs> I know. I can walk. I can. <laughs> hey, my tire hey, I see Rob came back. My my tire garden has sprouted. I got little sprouts. It needs to be water, but I was supposed to have rain coming already, but mm. so I didn't water them. Mm. Grim was saying that he didn't get any activity out of his attempt, but he's not going to give up. He's not finished. He's not going to let him beat him that quickly. But I would have just assumed without asking him two questions like different seeds need to be started different ways. There's not necessarily a knack to it, but there's a procedure to old. it. They've lost their fertility. And, well, then there's always being sold something that's not what you were sold. Yeah. A bill of goods. Well, how do you prove anything anymore? Every, all these seed things have been manipulated for many years, Vinny. This goes back to when I was a child. They just got more intrusive in the last, what, 20, 30 years. Manipulated the law so they could, when their shit blew in your freaking yard and screwed it all up, they owned your yard because their shit was in it. <laughs> That's how it worked. I mean, in a childish five-minute way to explain it. I like the sound of the tinkle in the tea. What do you mean? Oh, crying out loud, Vinny, you weirdo. Are you being all redneck on the In a Perfect World podcast once well, again? I was, but mm. then I wasn't. Yeah. Well, what's your aspirations for the rest of the year? Uh, to eat some greens and go down to the river. The simple life. Went, boy, that was a simple question, wasn't it? <laughs> Don't give me none of your complicated American bullshit. I'm going to eat some greens and go to the river. <laughs> That's your future, huh? Oh, yeah, I wrote something I've earlier got today. Shoes. I've got to get me some, uh, some floaty water wings yet. Yeah. Yeah, but I swear, like a bowling ball. We went we went from reporting the news to predicting the future. That's what I called the news today. Predicting the future. You can predict the future by the notice of the news and how gives it to us from behind the woodshed every Sunday right here at Real Liberty Media. <laughs> hey Hal Anthony. Ugh. Hal don't listen to us though when we do our crazy shit. Hey, let me let me tell you about this stupid stuff. Stupid people. You want to hear about stupid people? Hmm. Here's a Am I the stupid people you're going to snuggle no. about? Okay, then this go on. Yeah, the photo <laughs> burn. As long as it's not me. 
Keep it in. Yeah, looky here at Devin Noons talking with Ammon Bundy, a member of one of these Patriot hate groups in Malibu. <laughs> well, oh, that's what's not okay. Ammon. That's Trent Loose, and uh, Ammon's not in any Patriot hate groups or militias. Dum da dum dum photo bird. This uh -oh. is get for news. And listen, how many people like that? Four hundred and twenty-six idiots. Four hundred twenty-six likes and two hundred and sixty-four retweets of fake news. I like talk smack, so I'm just gonna make up stuff. Uh, is that a big number? Says, the same buddy who was pardoned by or, well. Yeah. Do it with the sick in, in brackets. The same Bundy who was pardoned by Trump says Dean. Oh, well, and then Sheep Tramp says no. The arsonist Hammonds were pardoned. Yeah, they were, you know, doing backburns and you know stuff that's typical about grazing and uh, that sort of thing, burning it off. Yeah, but backburn in to stop a wildfire coming. Oh yeah. The sad part about it all is that the people that think they're going to gain from supporting this shit in 40 years, their kids will be doing the same thing <laughs> giving the government the property because they don't want to die. <laughs> be Let careful me... what you support out there in radio land, because if you support people taking other people's shit away from them at the end of a weapon, that might be you getting that someday. So think it through. Yeah, I better think it through. It's good for the version of it. Good for the gander. What are my spirations? Yeah. <laughs> On the spirations. I read that. That was funny. <laughs> what is a spiration? I don't know. Let's find out. Ah, you he did the thing. Oh, the act of breathing. Hmm. Very good. You seem to do that all by yourself. Did you, did you take lessons? No, it's a uh, auto thing. It just happened. Is it a gift, or you know, yeah. where did you learn to breathe like you breathe? Yes, and it can be taken back at any time. Hmm. Not gyrating. Who's, gyrating. who's taking back what? You're losing me. You're. Yeah, you're breathing that, uh, yeah, it can stop that breath of life. And when it's gone, it leaves you and you're no longer gyrate. You know what? I've read stuff lately claiming that your heart and your brain don't necessarily die at the same time. <laughs> Hold on, I was reading. Uh, honest, of course I'm you were. Why would you listen to me talking to you? What would you do that for? Oh, I had to catch up <laughs> and chat over here. Of course That's you do. Catch up and chat. Hey, why don't Donna, Donna's there. Why don't you just get Donna on the show and talk to her? Instead I was talking of about ignoring Mike, right? me to chat with her on the RLM feed, you brainiac. Why don't you involve? <laughs> I like being funny. Hey, take your thumping. You got something funny to say there, little fella. You go right ahead. Uh, let me think. Um, I think it's funny when clowns scare people. <laughs> people or children? People. No, specific. that's sick. Scaring childrens with clowns. Oh, one minute. I'll be back. What's the matter, kid? Don't you like clowns? Oh, I think I think I scared him away. He's scared of clowns. Flash, flash, don't go. <laughs> That's a shame. No, it's a shame. It's a shame. What do you? Does anybody like clowns or scared of clowns? I think they're funny. Even sad clowns. You know, Piddles, uh, Pity. What's his name? Pity Puddles or no Puddles Pity Party? Yeah, I like that clown. He's a singing clown. I like the one he did uh, with Olsen uh, Prison Blues. To, uh, <laughs> Where'd you go? Did I scare you? 
No, I, I had something happen in the kitchen. Had to go take care of it real quickly. Took it on uh, because you're doing the show with me tonight. No, I'm not. I'm doing it with Donna. <laughs> oh, well, you've been chatting with Donna on the feed and ignoring it's me fine. when I speak. No, so, no. yeah, you dumb, dumb, what? Boom. Boom, yeah, boom, boom. Big old dummy, dumb head. Anyway. Any which way the wind blows. No, nah, I, I know you. the Bundy thing's got your attention. I know the um, the new case with this new couple got your attention. No, that's and not those, a, that's an old case. The one with the couple from 2007. Okay, well, the information got your No, it's not attention. new to me at all. It's new to me. Yeah. It's, I, 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 see, that's, that's what I mean. I've got such a night light, nice... That's I try not to absorb too much of this freaking outside government shit and let it get to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, eh, have her, eh, eh. I have the Elaine Brown as a Facebook friend. Well, you know how easily it would be to feel badly about it's all that this horrible shit that goes on back home. I'm coming up on eight years. Did you do that on purpose? How do you mean? Easily. How easily? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe I did. You I've been easy. doing this for a lot, no of, a lot of years. Free for friends. Yeah. But Honk Honkler? Who the hell is Honk Honkler? Oh, it must be a clown. Yeah. Clowns and magicians. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck oh. them. <laughs> I'm the world's worst clown. Yeah. I can't juggle yeah. even after... Going to clowning school. <laughs> wow. The following people. preview has been approved for all audiences. Follow your dream. That's what I say. Unless, of course, your dream is setting New York City on fire and watching everybody die, then follow your dream. Follow the yellow. <laughs> hey, well, you know, think about it. Even psychos get told to follow their dream. Really? I believe so. Yeah. Who's told them to do that? Why? The people that encouraged them to do what they did. Wow, that's terrible. Psychos are among hey, you us. You want to punch you know, a wall? I'm telling you, I'm cussing mad. Uh, I think I was doing the dork table with Marion, and I brought up that the psychologist guy made a big deal out of Trump's mental state. He's not fit to blah, blah, blah. And he That's spent a ten personal. minute link defining why Trump's out of uh, out of his mind and shouldn't be there. And the very things that make him out of his mind in the first place, in my opinion, make him belong where he is. Hmm. Very interesting. And how does this make you feel? Um, about who? About yourself and your mother. Oh, doesn't why, have why nothing do to do with that, mother? Dork. Nah, I was starting to think of other folk that I interact with, like Grim, for getting help on the internet. You know, he's always helpful when I need the help, and he's available. Who? Trump, Grimner. Good no, for you. Trump. Trump doesn't do anything for me. I don't know who out there. Maybe you got some kind of special decoder ring, or you're in this great club. But I don't belong to. I the club owns my documents. That's how I look at it. And I can rent you really, really cheap. Pretty much, yeah. Probably make a nice profit off me off the New York right. Stock Exchange. We have ways of making you pay, or for mm. making others pay for you. Mm. And you shall pay. Ugh. They will pay for you paying. That's right. No, that's... They take our time. There is no such thing as money. Money's a manipulation of society. You got to understand what money is to really understand that there is no money. We're just trading IOUs around like a bunch of dummies. On every level of commerce, it doesn't matter. There's no physical. Nobody owns a billion anything. It's an agreed illusion. There you go. But if we didn't have that as part of our collective, we would live better. That's my vision of what I see and why I see it that way. 
That one is a funny one, Frumpy. Did you look at his... Uh, See what hey. I mean? I'm being all philosophical, telling you all about how things I'm too should busy work. analyzing you. As, and uh, you're over funny. there, Frumpy to win. Let's see what he posted. I like Frumpy. <laughs> I go, uh, 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 let's see. Into the computer. Oh, better call NASA and tell them there is only going to be seven planets after I destroy Uranus. <laughs> Joe Creepy Biden. I'm saying, man, if you ran him with Trump, man, that would make Trump look great. Yeah, he Trump, would. Trump would be like the master <laughs> of the world. After Creepy Joe molested his first kid as the vice president, that might be pushing it a little further. So, yeah, you know, Biden's, uh, what, his campaign slogan would be, I'm behind Trump all the way. <laughs> Well, at least if he's behind Trump, you know he's not behind you. That's kind of a start, but that's I just thought what would make Trump look attractive when the next election comes on because, you know, these people were promised a fucking wall. Uh Where's where's your wall? I uh, I uh, I would uh, answer that question, maybe a new dress and some uh, come hump me pumps. What about the jobs? The oh, they write. See what they do. They're these people are clever. They write stories about how well the rich are doing off all the poor, and the advantages, of course, they have through government taking no responsibility for paying anything. <laughs> it's, we're fucked. Come on, you got to run faster. I don't. Well, no, I'm too well, lazy to do important. that. But you're racist in these sort of things. Well, I can't see any way around it. The source of my disappointment is there's no opt-out, you know. The only opt-out's not real. Live on a mountaintop like Vinny. No, uh, I'm fine. I, my wife would not get comfortable in Arkansas. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Hey, did you see that? Uh, no. Huh. He lives up there for our uh, Mighty Moose Who? Girl. He. Huh. Oh. oh, the new name on the... Yeah, I think I read that last week. Another O'Clarian. Or close to that, or in that area. Was familiar with it, something like that. What do you call them? Wisconsinites? I'm not American anymore. I'm giving up my American status. You want it? I think, hey, uh, if I give you my American status and you add it to your own American status, are you, have you got a better status? Could I get a rebate? And I'll give you 20% oh. off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on a minute. Uh, I got to do something for you. Uh-oh, he's going to post something on the reallibertymedia.com no. chat. On. Watch, I'll be back people. in a couple minutes. I'm handing you the mic, mister. Oh, I'll tell a brief tale about my epic adventures here in Freddy Town. Oh, I was talking to Graham earlier, briefly, when he was helping, and he had a question. Are the Danes really, well, not are they really, but how far from where they're really going to build this tallest building in the world are we? And if you look at a map of Denmark... The mainland is where they're talking about doing it, but they're talking about it on, I would say, the upper northeast of that map. It's called Jutland. And I guess they're going to build some kind of wacky building. I either heard it from Grimm or I read it, and then Grimm brought it up. But he was asking me, and I haven't heard anything from Cirque yet. And Cirque will usually tell me <laughs> uh, what's going on here in Denmark as far as anything that's really big. And, and whenever she does, it's always something like that. It's very, um, it's aesthetics. It's not like Denmark attacked China, film at 11. The Danish government decided to obliterate China this morning and went to war. Wow. No, that's it's America that does that. I'm pretty sure. And thanks a lot, warmongers. My wife doesn't even want to visit my home country. Refuse unless I go to Delaware 
so she can meet Joe fucking Biden. So she's been, she manipulated the most unbelievable way to go home so that I would never want to go home again. <laughs> if those are the circumstances I can go, then I'm staying where I'm at by God and country. I'm not going to let you push me around. <laughs> See, it's all a matter of how you look at, at life. And after, um, I think after I saw the links about the police violence, that that convinced me that whatever's going on in my life, I just follow that, let it go where it goes. So I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not avoiding anything or picking anything except Cirque and with society and all this crap we live in, then this is the results of it. Because, uh, hmm. well, we're in this paper game that we live. You can't just live. You can't just be born and live your life. Oh, no, everything has to be documented, and you need to be registered, and inoculated, and educated, and oh, eventually violated, but they call it a career. And uh, then at the end whatever the end is you get to not do all the shit that you got to do for the first 50 years <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but explain it. you know there's hey vinny but then hey. there's my side and there's your side and then there's what really happened as being philosophical, Vinny, and carrying on the program in your absence. I, I found a, I've got a new friend. Oh. Yes, okay. I went to try to say hello. It looks like a female. Dog? A no, dog. A, a cat. A cat. Ooh. Uh, Vinny the cat guy. <laughs> yeah, I got, uh, what do you call it? Kidnapped by the cat. Anyway, so I went to try to go make friends. Yeah, well, I'm not like you. I don't try to go do any fucking thing about anything. Life comes to me. I'm very selfish now. I'm an old man. The Venalytics. The Venalytics. Oh, yeah. crap. We're at the. Have we done two hours? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're at the end of the show. You want to do the lineup and say cheese? Cheese. Hey, Grimner. Vinny Got it. Get up against the wall. <laughs> get him hey get your hands <coughs> hey, off my cheese you i got a phone to pick with you you forgot me again last week when you did uh who did off. you did you jumped I right did. up well, right on the ground right over you no nah, well no i did it saturday because i remember well Cause I, I told mary i always forget to do you hey, when, uh, do me do me I always forget to tell everybody that you're doing a radio podcast yeah. on Friday, you pervert. That's all right. Hey, well, let's do it then. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we've got Grammy uh, in the pocket chair. And she's not going to be here, but she will be back Friday. Oh, soon. hey, wait, wait, wait. We started 20 minutes late. You want to <laughs> do the other 20, or do you want to call it a show? Oh, we I just remembered it. that. Got something yes. pertinent to say. What would you say to me if you had 20 minutes that I only oh. gave you like uh, 15 seconds? Oh, you want to go? Then no, it's I'm fine. Kidding. Oh, okay. No one's like me, says Grimmer. About no one's like no one. You guys are all. And see, that's the the thing about the internet that I do like, is I do see differences between different people's text, different personalities show through in the way that you write about stuff. I enjoy that part of it. And, of course, I make these conclusions in my mind. Um, and then, accordingly, you know, you respond back to the people that you seem to get along with the best. Yeah. And then there's other people that just like to shit on the carpet and then blame you for the smell. I know. I hate that, too. Yeah, but you, you're you the... You're like the instigator of, of where we got to with some people in... Uh, in the electronic world. And then you That's see I why Folden voices. And yeah, uh, but you see uh, why Folden kind of started it. Um so Coachelli, you know, he plays right here. He's got his own uh, channel right here at reallibertymedia.com. He's running five nights a week. 
follows Grams on Wednesday and Friday. You got to switch channels to get it right there. But just go to the reallibertymedia.com homepage. Chuck's, That's what uh, I mean. There's there's so much to know in this whole thing. Yeah. Well, there is. You have your there's own. a variety, yeah, but there's a variety of people to listen to tell you what you want to hear, and somewhere in the in this understanding reality shit, you got to figure out who's telling you the truth and who ain't. Hey, there comes. Hey, and, there comes a kitty. Yeah, but th a lot of people don't think much of um, about that. I don't think. I don't think we have time to. I don't stop and think about it often. Uh, I think I think about it when I'm on the radio because it's such an obvious thing to think about. But actual time on the job is probably relatively small. She's eating. Oh, good. Get yourself a cat. What are you feeding it? Some bacon grease. Well, there you go. Make a friend. And it's a female, too. Probably won't sure. mess up your house. Man, Fire. we were lucky with the doctor. Cats are, can be so nasty. Ugh. And then she has the poor fucker. Now he's all good and everything. He's healthy and whatnot. But he yeah. acts like a fucking kitten. And he's rolling around. I got this. Our computers sit on a carpet. And, I... uh, the chairs. And the damn cat is shedding. That it's, uh, this is normal after you deball them. That's Went, a well, thanks for telling me now. <laughs> Went, oh. But it didn't make me hate the cat that I have to work a little bit more to keep up after him because he's messy. Before, when he was an outdoor cat, he was less I... messy. He was out of the way most of the time, gone and doing his cat thing. He's now me. he now he's got his his second shot, so he's a kitten again. Good for him. I'm telling you, Vinny, I let him out today to you know, I, in the way that I always have for years, and he saunters out to the porch, oh, about four and a half five feet, and he sits down. So it's a like a side effect uh, castration is. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's changed like, his personality. He doesn't hunt. He doesn't well. scrap, but he's playful now. He'll like he's got claws. He doesn't know how to manage them yet, but he knows that when you put your hand in front of him, that claw will dig you. Man, I cut I you. Have to cut my cat. I have my my cat that lives somewhere else. He he went to go live on a farm, but I'm gonna have to bring him home someday when the uh, Gary I'd, dies. I'd like to be a cat. I, I would rather be a cat than a dog, I think, if I was going to be another life form. I think he would like this kitty. Or maybe a cannabis plant. What shall we name her? You want to help me? Ah, you want to name your cat uh, in She's, a perfect uh, world. Gray with the darker, kind of tiger striped. Yeah. Um, with a little, just you can see a little bit of calico. Mm -hmm. Very light, light, maybe. Wow. Color. No. Now enter your name request suggestions to yeah. in a perfect world reallibertymedia.com to uh, name Vincent's cat. Has to start with a V. The stripes on the back of <laughs> has to start head. with a V. <laughs> why the stripes <laughs> on the back <laughs> together into a V. Yeah. Yeah, right at the I, top of her head. So it has to start with V. I was using my exceptional vocabulary there, Grimner, to dazzle the people on the reallibertymedia.com. Yes. <laughs> hey. I know a word or two. You know what I used to really enjoy not when wild. I was young? You know, people not wild. What, what about people when you're young? I would pretend not to understand a word that they were using to <laughs> see if they knew what the fuck they were using. Really? Mm-hmm. Like, can you give me an example? Mm. Out of memory, no, I'd have to just be vague. But I'll give you an okay. example that'll be similar. Perfect. Like, say you, it's something that we can all understand too, right? Say you, you've been to New York City and you've stood on 2nd Avenue and 72nd Street, right? And you, you remember... Go ahead. And if you were there at a certain time in a history there would have been certain stores or 
the lack of stores in that area, because this is an old area, goes back a long way. And say that you were uh, talking to somebody that claimed to be where you've been from, and you go, well, yeah, remember the 76 gas station on the corner of so-and-so and so-and-so, but you just make it up. And they go, yeah. <laughs> well, no, you don't. <laughs> and, well, in the world of conversation and communication, we find ourselves communicating with people that pretend. They've never been where they're claiming they've been, but they know enough about it to make it sound like they did till you ask them well yeah did you go to d'agostino's when you lived there and they say no well there's only goddamn grocery store around for that period of time that's kind of strange but you know you get what i'm getting at or not yeah they because they do it in court they use technique and style to pitch an idea that sounds like what they're talking about, but it's really not. Yeah. Bunch of boo. You know, the misdirection of English and how we, all of us, in some ways or another, use it to control and manipulate. <laughs> it's very fucked up. You know, like my stand against vaccination. I'm very fucked up when I'm telling you what I think those fuckers are doing to us. I'm not standing on the side of the vaccinators. Fuck them. Medical. Banking. You name it, and I'm against it. Pretty much. <laughs> but it's a very minimal fringe of life. There's not a lot of people like me. I had a president, a bank president by my cowboy hat. The... Yeah, you've mentioned that, Mr. Bragger guy. But you know what I did? Huh? 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 Well, I moved to a foreign country with no interest in learning to the learning the country's ways or language. Did you get and the TSA it, treatment? No, actually, I got the "Who gives a flying fuck?" As long as you're decent to us, we don't really care what language you speak in. Attitude. Can you speak in cat? I can speak in cat because I got Doctor Cooper in. He still lets me live in his house. He hasn't put me out yet. <laughs> have you ever watched it? I guess you must have watched the show, right? The Big Bang. What show? <laughs> the Big Bang. Oh, yeah. When I was in America, last, I saw that. Uh, this is the last season. <clears throat> I don't know how many episodes I got. But... Oh, I no, I gave up on it years ago. But, yeah, wow. I used to watch, oh, watch I got uh, a Young Sheldon comedy there. stuff. They've got a new, new show called Young Sheldon. <laughs> oh, a spinoff thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, well. Yeah, keep pushing all that crazy science jazz, but it's but a bunch got, of nonsense. Got to go check out Wisecrack's response to uh, the Big Bang mm. Theory. Uh, and very good points. You can look that up on YouTube. I, I yeah. like Wisecrack. They're a pretty good analysis of uh, the world that we live in and how it is so much affected by the video gameage of today. And, uh, yeah. the gamers. You, believe, you believe that human life is set foot on Mars? No. Do you believe that human life has set foot on the moon? I believe that was, uh, I think that was a prank. I really do. There's too much mm. evidence that says that they lied about it. And um, now they say, uh, we've got to get past this. Uh, man, uh, <laughs> yeah. Let me get through that. To get to the so, I mean, come on. It was uh, the space race against the Russians. And you had to have propaganda. Yes, we've done it. Maybe they thought they would do it, you know, and it was like we'll make the claim now but there's stuff up there on the moon from from here yeah stuff yeah. that I observed as far as i can tell um uh, well i think uh, i just believe that the problems we have here are way more important than that whatever that is i'll leave that to you i'm not even interested Right. just enough to bring it up and make a few bad jokes but to pursue it for an answer I don't give a shit. What I care about is why we get the fuel and the food and the water delivered to us, poisoned and destroyed, so we'll behave like this. Are you kidding me? And when you try to explain that to a, a registered voter or a statist, and, eh, there goes the conversation. 
So we're, we're stuck preaching to the choir about the same shit because the the new guy knows better because they got the best of the best of the best. Know what I mean, eh? Know what I mean, eh? Know what I mean, eh? Well, you're still back to reading then, I suppose. I was pontificating I yeah, that's about a, my vast opinions once we got again. Up in the bounty, buddy, to $750. Whoa. What's that mean? I don't know. Five hundred dollars ahead, up to seven fifty. You're, you're talking about it, and you don't know well, what it means. No, yeah, I'm going to talk about it and figure out what it means. Get the PDF oh. of this stuff that's emailed and tweeted to everyone in their immediate circle, so they can get that bounty if they want it. That's Schaefer's probably. Oh. A yeah, see, that's what I mean. Is the the things that are really important are we're being distracted by all this other meaningless shit. So that the big things can't ever be dealt with. I don't know. And 5G is going to cripple all of us. And they're planning it everywhere. We're going to be unindated in it. Now, I think they're talking like 25. So we've got a few more years. But if the governments and the businesses get their way, we're fucked. I don't even They're going to get their wish. Huh? I don't know what this stuff is. I read about it. It's a weapons grade delivery system of get energy through the internet. The what? delivery of the internet is what they're going to change. They're going to change it. It's bad. This shit is dangerous. But the laws were written. We were talking about this before. The laws were written long ago to protect the the state and the people behind the building so that you can't confront them with bad for your health. And the things that matter won't matter in a admiralty court. You can't play with those folks. I'll tell you, I watched them do it up in there. It's, it's a circus and it's a, right. and, and the, 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 those few juries that jurors that looked at me when I was uh, in the court for Bruce Doucette, they looked at me and, and I'm good at reading body language in that. Uh, I remember the uh, perfectly the look at the one girl's face looking at me. It's like, um, wow, I know, but we have no choice. Basically is how I would uh, translate that look. Uh, he was, he was uh, screwed from the beginning. You can't go in there and hope to win when <laughs> they the ones that set the rules and none of them, uh, are there for your benefit. Oh, my kitty left. So how, okay, how will you ever explain that to another human being well, I've been slash, slash oh. carbon-based life form without hearing the argument protecting the very thing that's fucking them? Well, that's what I'm engaged in, and I don't do a very good job, obviously, or I'd have done, been able to put it in... Uh, what, how many characters is it? Uh, 240 or 180? <laughs> they changed it. I don't know. What do you want to call tonight's show? Uh, I didn't come uh, up with a title tonight. Well. Hey. Cirque says, let me guess. Another great clusterfuck. Is that acceptable as a title? If you replace the uh, the F with a PL. Oh, okay, let. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. My wife and her sense of humor. Yes, the cluster pluck. How about that? Yeah, I'll I'll write it in a way. Grim will see it last, and he'll fix it. Gr I know how to do this. Um, like this. Whoop. Wait a minute, it might need a space. Let me go like, yo, yo. Yo, Ta yo. No, that's using the same. One, two, three. I need one more. One more and I'm accomplished as Flushed. nothing. Oh, well. No, I'm trying to be original here on this impossible. Th oh, no, that's good. I put the equal sign. Okay. We sorted our way through that, but we, Cirque came up with a title. Thank you, honey. We started 20 minutes late, and, of course, 
Vinny did one show and I did another show. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, sweetheart. No, no, no. My what? Oh, I forgot to mute. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I love you too. I know. Hello, Circulo. I love you, Vinny. I love you. Too. <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. Hey, wow. For that cough. Oh, half, You're half welcome. Cough. I was trying. Give me a break here. Anyway, that was cool. I was writing the notes up. I hadn't got to the note part because I didn't have a title. No, now no, I've no. got a title. Now what do I write for notes? We discussed prison, freedom. You read from Ammon Bundy. We discussed who owns the color blue. I like and, it. And uh, your pink, your, your uh, huh? No. Don't interrupt me, Circle. My wife is being disruptive. Good for her. I, <laughs> you know, I get in trouble a lot. We're still alive. <laughs> children to act out. Be loud. People say children should not be heard. She didn't realize we were still live. We started late. I tried to tell you that, but you don't listen sometimes. No <laughs> problem. You just don't <laughs> listen. I know. It's, it's the way I am. How do you pronounce that? Haiku? What's what you're asking? Haiku? Yeah. Isn't that Japanese I think so. um, poetry you... or something? How do you say that, sir? Do you know the haiku things? The Japanese poetry? Death. Haiku. Yeah, she says it's probably pronounced like haiku or something. Well, you got to get your throat all freaking, uh, you know, so you talk like this. Haiku. You, yeah, you saw your Japanese movies when you were growing up and they all had that broken English. Oh, very good. I like a Chinese food. Huh? We're on the radio, sir. You keep s pay attention, dear. Go back to your phone. Radio. Go back to your phone, there phone is. slave. Okay, we discussed tonight on the show. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it different than I usually do it. Baby, it's cold How's outside, that? Lucy. Don't go. <laughs> cold outside. <laughs> How come? Uh, I thought we were. Hey, you, I thought we had global warming. Now what the fuck happened? Did somebody steal my global uh, warming? Global time change is the problem now. Keep up, Mister. What? There global was a time change. Ah, cool. That's a Japanese sneeze. But you have to oh, do yeah. it with uh, unrhymed lines of five, seven, and five syllables. Yeah, it's spell Ammon for me. Aspect of nature. Hey. It's A M M O N M M. Okay. Yeah. In I wasn't sure. That. I have spelling problems. That's all right. Of nature or the seasons. Hachu! Yes. <laughs> Hachu season. Uh, That's right. We now have for your. Uh, let me try something else. Hachu. Side effects include gut chuckles. Hmm. What? Well, hmm. let me see here. I'm done. Are you going to do the lineup, or are I'll we going to have dead lineup. air? That's right. Wow. Today. You yeah. just, you know, I've got that ability to make you stop talking. I, I might be able to market that. Yes, you can. And <laughs> off if you'd like to get in on this. <laughs> Funny guy. <clears throat> okay, so you've been listening uh, to uh, Flash Somebody and me, Vinny, contrast the occupation here in a perfect world. Now, tomorrow, Wednesday, Grammy comes along in the rock chair, but she won't be here tomorrow. So come back Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern for uh, Flash Somebody and 20% off. Such a deal. Friday, I'm back maybe with a Ponder Gander at noon central. Grammy does return 6 p.m. Central time, blasting off in the rocket chair. And then comes Grim and a Moosey, the mighty moose and the great Grimner. Sure. The Freakers Ball, y'all. That's right. Free, spelled with two E's. Freak, be a freaker. And come on along, y'all, to the Freakers Ball. Back again on Saturday will be the dork table with Mr. Flash. Somebody, he'll be dorking. Perhaps he'll capture a co-hostage. We shall see. 
Sunday, we got to get here at about a quarter to noon central if you would like to hear the introduction as Grim opens up the Atunicated Blues right here at Real Liberty Media, and then we play a little trivia. Got fast fingers? Come on along. That begins officially at noon, then at 3 p.m. Eastern. That's noon o'clock on the left coast is Hal Anthony coming from behind the woodshed. Notice in the news. Monday, we're back with Grim Leftovers at 7 p.m. Central Eastern Time, that is. And Tuesday, here we are again in a perfect world where well, I've been uh, accompanying Mr. Flash somebody. Yeah, because we started this here wacky show, and uh, you should pull your half, weasel dick. No, I quit, and I only... I uh, know, but I oh, hosted you oh, back and then forced you to do it again. Yeah, You've got to take full authorship. I'll I'll only get on here and, and yak about it. Oh, yeah, because you want to be serious, and uh, not all that. You know, sometimes, but not all the time. Well, there's different times in different places. Yeah, my Friday, uh, Ponder Gander, um, I'll be at 11 on the next one, so 13 and a half. I threw it all back in the scrap pile not long after I started writing this mm -hmm. uh, 13 and a half uh, 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 series on the uh, this radio writing of the Mondays. I'll come back and redo that. But that's okay. I mean, it's revised, revised, revised. It's not a failure for me. You know, yeah, sometimes I come to a point and I'll say, okay, well, <laughs> yeah, it's a little lopsided, just a bit out of kilter, not quite level, but uh, close enough. And we'll go from there. And the next one I build will maybe be a little bit better. Hannah likes to tell Grim good night. Thank you. <laughs> Love you. Oi. Anyway, so thanks a lot for the RLM crew that hung in there with us through this wacky show tonight. Because while I pontificated, my partner Vincenzo was reading and chatting on the reallibertymedia.com. <laughs> Another fun time for everybody. Or oh, 20 and plus one somewhere. I made up some notes about the show the way I saw it. If you don't like it, <laughs> thanks a lot, everybody. Catch thanks, you next Bob. time. <laughs> Thank you. Ready? Ready? Away we go.